In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the five settings that you should definitely change on your Google TV devices, especially if you are a new user. These changes will not only make your device safer, but also limit the amount of data you share with Google. And I can tell you this from my first-hand experience, as I've been using streaming devices for quite some time and have done multiple reviews on them, that you should always be mindful of restricting the data you share. And at the very end, I'm also going to show you how you can enable the apps only mode so that you can get rid of all the unnecessary stuff on your home screen, which most people don't even use, and create a customized home screen that only shows the apps you've installed on your device. You can adjust these settings on any device with the Google TV interface, including the ON 4K Pro, Google Streamer 4K, or even the Google Chromecast TV. So if you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button and let's go. The first setting we're going to be looking at is location settings. Let us head over to device settings. Scroll down to privacy settings and the first option is going to be our location. To the right, it shows our location status. As you can see, my location setting is turned off simply because I don't see a need for this on a streaming device. Now on a mobile, I can understand it being helpful. Maybe our mobile is lost or stolen, or if we need to navigate to different areas in the city, but on a streaming device, which is actually a stationary device, I don't think it's necessary. We don't usually take our devices with us anywhere. It's always connected to our TV. Plus it says, let Google services and other apps scan for networks. I mean, what are these other apps that require our location? So it's best to just turn it off. Next, we'll be looking at play protect settings. Again, you'll find it under the privacy section, so I'll press back just once. And here go all the way to the bottom. We need to select security, so click on that. Okay, so what it does is, Google will scan your device and look into all the apps to tell you which of them are harmful. And below that, there is an option to send unknown apps to Google for better detection. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want Google going through my applications and knowing what apps I use and what I don't. Another thing is, if you install a third-party app other than the Google Play Store, then this will keep reminding you with pop-ups that the app is harmful, which is pretty annoying actually. So I usually turn both of these settings off. Uh, if you've got similar reservations like mine, then you can turn them off as well. There is also something about an ad setting that we need to look at. Press back, and this time we need to go over to the ad settings. This is also under the privacy tab. So I'm sure most of you who have used an Amazon Fire Stick may notice a similar feature on that as well. We can see a reset advertisement ID and delete advertisement ID. What an advertisement ID is, is a unique identifier that allows marketers to track your activity for advertising purposes. It collects information from your device via this ID and then pushes ads to you that's tailored to whatever you're looking for. So if you search for a smart TV on your computer, and then when you switch to your smartphone and see the same smart TV ads on your phone as well, that is because of a tracking ID, so resetting it will generate a new ID and remove the previous one, but deleting it, they can no longer use this advertising ID to show you personalized ads and stop all the tracking. So rather than resetting it, I will just go ahead and delete it. And if you change your mind in the future, you can always create a new ID from here. Okay, so the next two settings is what you might be waiting for, and it is more to do with the customization of our Google TV. So if I go to my homepage, there's so many recommendations here, and most of these we don't even use. It makes the device look way more cluttered, and personally, I don't like all this junk. But thankfully, there is a way to essentially clean this up. If you scroll down enough, you'll see this option to manage services. Click on it, and this is where you can turn off what content and apps are recommended on the home screen. So if I scroll down, this app is turned on, which means that content from this app will show on my home screen. So let's turn this off. Now let's scroll down even more and turn off some more of these apps. Turn these two off as well. Okay, now we are going to compare the amount of junk we had previously on the home page and after changing these settings. So let's scroll down all the way. You see the amount of content has decreased and again, you can remove all these as well and just keep recommendations from apps that you use often. So pretty cool feature. But now we'll enable the apps only mode where essentially it is going to remove all the recommendations, remove all the clutter, and just give you the favorite applications that you want to interact with. So in order to get to this, we're going to go over to our settings. Going to click on that. We're going to go down to our accounts and profile. Click on that. Scroll down to the apps only mode. Turning this on will remove all the recommendations on the home screen. 
and all you'll be left with is your favorite apps. So let's give it a go. Look at that guys, all the recommendations and all of that stuff is gone, and you are left with only apps that are installed on your device. The interface looks pretty clean, plus I can readjust the settings whenever I want them. So there you go guys, these were the five major settings that you needed to know and adjust on your Google devices. First three being more of privacy settings and the last two of them being customization settings. Well, hope you liked the video. I am Black Joseph and I will be back with another informative video very soon. Take care.